Hi everyone, this is Niner Tactics, and today I'll be showing you the plan I made for SOD Direct Action 08 Bad Blood. Um, so, none of my guys got killed. I killed about 77 bad guys, and no civilian casualties. Uh, the only challenge here is Clock Race, which is to beat it before 7 minutes, and I was able to do that as well. Let me show it to you. Okay, uh, yeah, that's the plan I made. And um, it's not a single plan. Uh, it's a single plan up until this point, but then I had to improvise towards the extraction. So as always, let's start. Let's start with the assessment. So my guys are set up here. And uh, our goal is to find two high-value individuals inside this structure. Uh, but yeah, spoilers, they're here. <laughs> so, that is the mission. Once you get them, you need to get them here. Um, as for the execution, um, this was not the first plan I thought of. To be honest, the first plan I thought of was um, blow up the wall here and then make entry. Then have certain few elements guarding the, the pathways here and here and here while I get the guys out. Um, if that didn't work, that didn't work because movement was blocked. So I tried blowing a hole here and here <laughs> and here. None of them worked. Uh, it's like movement is blocked whenever, whenever you make a breach through the walls. Um, now that impacted the realism a bit for me because if you look at real life raids, um, most guys would either use a breaching charge, uh, sometimes they would even use an AT4 if, if you're in the military to knock off barricades because it's faster, it's a lot faster than setting up a charge and looking for a breach point. Um, the other one is slamming a vehicle into the barricade itself gates walls whatever it may be and then coming out of that vehicle um law enforcement also does that tactic um if you watch the sicario uh the first movie sicario um in that first sequence uh, the first assault was the fbi was slamming their apc into the wall and then they came out of the apc that's actually a common tactic by law enforcement agencies so in this case being that these are high value individuals and there is a certainty that they have their own QRF that will come and save them, speed is of the utmost importance. So smashing into the wall, breaking through it, and then just getting them out, it, I think it's the best tactic. So that's just my comment for the map itself. But yeah, I did enjoy the challenge of making this plan, this colossal semi-single plan. <laughs> So, um, after I cleared most of the guys here, I, uh, I shot 40 Mike Mike into this door to blow it off. And then I had a few guys come out and meet me. So I had them wait using Go Code A. And then after uh, I was certain that most of them were killed, I had them stack up. So if you look at it, since movement is blocked through the walls, I had to have them stack through certain choke points so that that's the challenge of this map um, so there's a choke point here obviously uh, item stack here line up here uh, did not really have them line up here perfectly sometimes they did sometimes they don't um, had them line up here but before they did that they cleared this entire room Mainly using 40 mic mic, and even then, once they went inside, I had them dead check them with 40 mic mic, just in case they, uh, you know, uh, crouched down and hid underneath the table. <laughs> and then once that was clear, I had them move here, clear everything. And this is the next choke point where I got them to stack. Cleared most of the rooms too. Then having with go code A here, go code Alpha. Then the final choke point is this part of the map. Um, so if you look at it, I threw in a couple of bangers there. Um, 
this is my request for the devs or maybe a question do you ever plan to implement nine bangers into the inventory of the guys you know nine bangers would have made this very quick but yeah so after that um i managed to clear this area this pool area and then i had to improvise a plan to get them outside here so yeah let me show you how it goes let's play okay did it slowly too um some of you might say you should have went in with with suppressors yeah i normally do i normally do use suppressors uh, but i said i'm going in hot <laughs> i'm going in hot just to make sure they know i mean business alpha go This is the first stack. Alpha, go. Yep. Not the most good looking line formation, but but it'll do. Uh, and then I had them wait until most of the guys that came here were cleared. Um there's a saying by Sun Tzu. Never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake, so I let them come into my line of sight. Alpha, go. Then that's when I moved. Okay. Okay, once Alpha, that was clear, go. had them move too, had them sprint and throw bangers. Again, nine bangers would come in handy. Okay, 40 mic mic time. Okay. Okay, dead check with 40 mic mic. That that range is too near to actually make Alpha, it work in go. real life, but I wanted to see it done. <laughs> And uh, in this case, I had them move slowly. Um, part of the challenge in this map too is, you know, civilians would purposely block line of sight, so it's better to just have them move slowly and take precision shots instead of rushing in. But in my opinion, if you're uh, supposedly a civilian and you're blocking line of sight, maybe you're one of the bad guys, you know? You're martyring yourself. Alpha, go. Um, I made a separate go code for the guy's laptop. That's Bravo. <laughs> this guy was taking Bravo. a couple go. of pistol shots to the chest before he actually shot the guy. <laughs> I named him Ass. That's Assault for short, by the way. One tough motherfucker. <laughs> okay, tactical pause. Alpha, go. HVI here, guys popping out. Alpha, go. See that? That is dumb. But gladly, 
no civilian casualties in this run. So this is the part where I tried to extract the HVIs and I had to improvise a plan. So I just had the guys move here. Um, and then I saw a few guys coming in here, the salary part. You could see me tracing some of the lines there. Couldn't be bothered to make it look good. <laughs> I think I had a problem with this HVI complying, but I managed to make it work. Uh, meanwhile, these guys were guarding this doorways. Yep, almost there. Um, so those are the uh, few bangers that I did have left, so I made good use of them. I had them line up. Okay, and I made a plan towards the extraction point. Alpha, go. Yeah, not the best looking light formation, but then again, they were beaten up. By all the shots they were taking. Alpha, go. They're probably like, sir, we should have just rammed the vehicle. <laughs> Alpha, That's not go. my call to make, boy. Okay, and then through Alpha, bangers go. here, making sure it's cleared before we move down. Yep, and that is it. So that's the plan I made for SOD direct action 08 by blood. Um, so again, my comment for Genjira is um, in terms of realism, having them block the walls, that, that wasn't really a, a realistic thing. But I know you were trying to have people move through the building so th they could actually enjoy door kicking more. I get that. Don't worry. <laughs> um, I did enjoy the challenge of making a plan, even though it wasn't really needed. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, make a good plan. So um, I will leave you with a cinematic of this attempt, and I will see you on the next map. Again, this is Niner Tactics. Please have a good day. Bye bye. Alpha, go. Tango inside. Alpha, go. Alpha, go. Alpha, go.
Alpha, go. Alpha, go. Alpha, go. Bravo, go. <laughs> Alpha, go. 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 